Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Learning by Doing. Uh, this is Python Pandas, so we're going to be doing some Pandas Learning by Doing. Um, so in this series, basically, you get to watch a data scientist uh, go through a set of exercises on Pandas completely, uh, completely blank. So I've never seen these, never looked at these before. Um, I've done a couple of these before, so if you want to go ahead, check out the full uh, series. If you're not already there, you can check out the playlist up here. Uh, today, we're doing filtering and sorting. Uh, I've already done Chipotle in Euro 12. Today, we want to do Fictional Army. Um, I've already opened it up here. Again, I just wanted to open up just to make sure that I didn't need to download any data beforehand. Um, so this one, it's nice. They, uh, they actually go ahead and start, they do some of the stuff for you. Um, so import pandas, um, and they give you data. Uh, it's kind of interesting. The data is given as a dictionary. This is, you don't commonly get this. Uh, this is very, very rare to go ahead and get this. Uh, but we've got some data here. Uh, so we can create a data frame and assign it to a variable called army. Um, regiment desk. Okay, so they want us to um, make sure to uh, get the column names uh, in the order presented in the dictionary so that the column index order is consistent with the solutions. If omitted, uh, pandas will order the columns alphabetically. Okay, I didn't actually know that. So PD uh, data frame. Um, yeah, we'll need to look at actually how uh, data frame actually works in this case. Data columns. Um, data columns to be used. We'll default to if no columns are provided. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just sort of see what happens. So if you want, you can always construct a data frame using um, just basically uh, the raw data up here, a dictionary itself. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to construct data frames and stuff like that, I did a nice opinionated guide on pandas up here. You can check it out. Um, let's assign this to army and just sort of see what happens. So did this destroy the order of the... No, it didn't destroy the order of the columns. Okay. So anyways, just making sure this, this uh, comment here was a little bit cryptic. So pretty simple. We just make a data frame out of that. We've got it. Uh, set the origin column as the index of the data frame. This is always lovely. Uh, data frame indexes are a little bit scary at first, but they often become incredibly useful uh, the more you get into this. Um, so let's set it origin. Um, and set that, oh, geez, uh, index, uh, origin, and then we want in place uh, to be true. Perfect. Um, print only the uh, column veterans. Okay. Um, dot veterans. Great. So here's the number of veterans from each of these um, uh, states. Uh, print only the columns veterans and deaths. Okay. Interesting. This is a little bit, a little bit sad. Um, okay. So we want uh, veterans, and we want uh, deaths. Uh, perfect. So veterans and deaths. Okay, Arizona. Not not a not a good state to be from in this case. Um, print the name of all the columns. Pretty easy. Army dot columns. Okay. I'll select the deaths, size, and deserters column from Maine and Alaska. Great. Um, so again, this is a great uh, use of lock in this case. So lock allows you to sort of select multiple things at the same time. Uh, so in this case, we are looking from uh, Maine. Uh, so because we've already set the index in this case to be where they're from, uh, we can really easily use uh, the lock uh, functionality and a lot of people again they're really intimidated by lock and you know the first time that they see it um, but eventually you get really comfortable with it and it just becomes really readable uh, for anyone that is also comfortable with it so I, I really suggest that you do that um, so again super readable you know let's select columns main Alaska let's select the um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry let's select the index main Alaska and let's select the columns uh, deaths size and deserters uh, select the rows three to seven and the columns three to six. Okay, and so this is again, you know, they're just sort of showing us this is iLock. So in this case, this allows us to use numbers to do the exact same thing. So we want the rows three to seven, and then we want the columns three to six. Um, great. 
Okay. Uh, again, you know, this could be off depending on whether they want, you know, to include, you know, three or whether they don't want to include three. So if they want three, four, five, six, seven, so three, four, five, six, seven, then we'll probably need to do two to seven. Um, but it really depends. So in this case, if they want to also include that column, two to six, um, I believe. Uh, I always, uh, off, oh, sorry, uh, off by one map. Uh, uh, off by one map is, is always the thing that kills you in this. Okay, Texas, okay, great. Um, so Texas would be the one, two, third. Okay, great. So, uh, so maybe they want this, maybe they want three to seven. Uh, select every row after the fourth row and all the columns. Great. Uh, pretty simple. So we want every row after the fourth row. Okay. Um, pretty good. Okay. And then let's get all the columns. Great. So again, this will select every row after the fourth. Well, I guess is, so one, so zero. Uh, so zero, one. <laughs> oh, off by one. Uh, let's just make sure this is this is correct. <laughs> I'm so, sorry, it's pretty funny. So everything except after the zero would be one, two, three, four. It would be start with main. Okay, we got it. We got it. Whew. Uh, we definitely did that. Great. Uh, select every row up to the fourth row and all the columns. Oh, this is this is a tricky one. Uh, so let's make sure that this is there. Uh, great, everything, yep, yeah, okay. It's like the third column up to the seventh column. Uh, presumably they want us to include all of the rows. So the, the, the third column up to the seventh column. So third column, one, two, three. So third column would actually be number two. So deaths up to the seventh column. So that's, that's right, up to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to the seventh column. Great. Whew. Okay, we, we're, we're doing this. Select rows where deaths is greater than, where df.deaths. Hey, we used army. Um, uh, dot deaths is greater than 50, um, and then army. Pretty simple. So, okay, got a couple of them here. Um, select the rows where deaths is greater than 500 or less than 50. Okay. So this is like, look for variance. So less than 50, and th this is one of the funky things here. You can't do and. Um, again, there is some technical reason for this. Uh, I believe you have to use their sort of binary thing. I think it's just because it's easier to go ahead and overload this binary thing in, in uh, Python, but who knows. Um, so army deaths is less than 50, and then we also want greater than 500. So greater than 500. Pretty simple. Um, so again, just because just because there's there's cruelty in the world, make sure you get your parentheses correct, um, or else this won't work. Oh, uh, where deaths? Oh, it's not and, it's or, of course. Um, okay. Select all the regiments uh, not named dragoons. Dragoons. What? All the regiments not named. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and see here. Army dot regiment. Regiment is not equal to uh, dragoons. Okay. Scouts. Um, I'm gonna guess there are some dragoons in here. No. Uh, do we not print out the data anywhere? Okay. Let's just make sure that there are actually dragoons in the regiment column. Um, yes, there are. Okay, so well, that's how you do it. Just not equal to dragoons. Pretty simple. Select the rows called Texas and Arizona. Okay, once again, pretty easy. This is a great example of uh, lock uh, being used. So uh, we just go ahead and get uh, Texas, um, and then we get um, Arizona. Does this work? Yeah. Okay, Texas and Arizona. Uh, select the third cell in the row named Arizona. Um, so if we're selecting a single value, the third cell, the at is actually generally better used. Um, so we can go ahead at, uh, let's grab uh, Arizona, and then we are looking at the third cell. So uh, zero, one, two, so great. 
Um, mm -hmm. The third cell. Uh, oof, it's a little bit annoying um, because we kind of want to do lock and we kind of want to do I lock here. Uh, so the third cell is the deaths. So we'll just include deaths. So, okay. So Arizona, one, two, three. So 523. That's exactly right. It's like the third cell down in the column named deaths. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We know the column named deaths. So we let's let's go ahead and do this. So this is I at um, the third cell down and deaths is the third column. So 25 and we can go ahead and check this out. The third column 25. Great. So again, this is kind of a little bit funky here. They're asking us to kind of like mix up I lock and and um, and normal lock or at and then I at. Um, in these situations, it's I don't really know what the correct thing to do is here, except for just choose one, the one that sort of is a little bit less work. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the solutions that they did. I hope this has been useful to you to sort of see what a, a, a data scientist does when sort of looking at answers like this. These, this is a little bit more exercise-y uh, than most of the uh, other questions, so there's not a lot of interpretation. It's unfortunate, um, but it is good exercise. Um, so let's go ahead and check out what the solutions would be. Next time I should just pull these up beforehand so we don't have to wait. Okay, pandas pd, data overall data, easy, uh, set index in place, great, the veterans column, veterans and deaths, so they use, they use the double quotes, no, 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 <laughs> it's okay, uh, uh, columns, lock, beautiful, I lock, beautiful, I lock, select every row after the fourth row and all the columns, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, yep, so a lot of the stuff is the same, greater than 50, yep, this or, just beautiful, not equal dragoons, okay, yeah, yeah, it looks like we did a lot of the stuff, oh, this is great, um, so this is actually probably the better way to do it, um, so uh, my way was fine, but this is exactly, if you want to sort of mix lock and I lock, I guess the best way, to, the, the sort of suggested way to do it is to do it with um, uh, sequential, uh, sequential locks and then I locks. Uh, so first go ahead and get Arizona and then go ahead and get, um, uh, the, uh, the rest. So yeah, this is, this is, this is really good. So first get Arizona, get, then get the third cell. First get deaths, then get the third cell. Okay. Um, so I hope this was uh, useful to you all. This was really fun for me. It actually taught me something new as well. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, um, and uh, let me know if you'd like me to do any more of these exercises. I'll keep them coming out, and as always, big thanks from Data Talks.